How's it going everyone? Chris from Commit to Be Fit, Oshawa, Ontario. Uh, today is uh, Wednesday group training program. Uh, to start you guys off, we just want you to do five minutes of cardiovascular activity to get the body warmed up and then a five minute dynamic warm up, okay? You'll find our dynamic warm up is posted on our YouTube channel. Alright, so if you guys just scroll down and look through, you should be able to find it. Uh, today's workout is going to be a conditioning circuit. So we have four exercises. We're going to set a timer for 30, or 60 seconds of work, 30 seconds of rest. We're going to do four consecutive rounds. Okay? So very, very important that you guys don't have a rest after the circuit's done. After you finish those four exercises, you go right back and you repeat it all over again. Okay? So we're going to walk you through the four exercises. Uh, then we're going to show you what your, your core happy ending is at the end. Okay? So our first exercise we're going to do, timer set for 60 seconds. We're going to do thrusters. All right? So we got the kettlebell up. And we're going to do our thrusters for 60 seconds. Drop in and drive it up. Drop in and drive it up. All right, making sure you get your chest all the way through that press at the top. Okay? So that's the first exercise is the kettlebell thruster. After that, we're going to go to a shuttle run. We use the hallway here. What you can do is you can set up uh, a 30-foot or a 10-meter shuttle run. And you just got shuttle runs. Or you just do for a, you go for a jog for, uh, for one minute. Okay? Making sure you're pushing the tempo as hard as you can. Right? Um, then the next we have step back lunges, uh, you guys can do a body weight, you guys can do um, a kettlebell, you guys can use a TRX to help you. Okay? If you need the assistance from the TRX, you can use the TRX to help you with step back lunges. Okay? If you want to make it a little more challenging, all right, you can bring up a kettlebell. If you're using kettlebells today, you want to be using about 50% of your maximum weight. Okay? So you can do your step back lunges here all right, with a kettlebell. or <clears throat> You can go into a walking lunge, all right? So walking lunges, okay? Basically, we can use the hallway. I probably will use the hallway for our clients uh, during this workout, uh, just because they're going to get continuous lunges for one minute straight, okay? Uh, then the last exercise, exercise four, is going to be rope waves or rope slams, okay? I hope you guys can see me on this. By the way, February 1st, Commit to Be Fit moves into its brand new location. Uh, we're going from about 700 square feet here to just over 2,100 square feet at our new location. All right, plenty of space there. All right, so what we got is, you've got rope slams or rope waves. So you can start off with rope waves, down nice and low, make it nice rope waves for one minute. Or you can do rope slams, okay, for one minute. Or you can alternate halfway, right? Rope waves for about 30 seconds. When you get tired, you can go into rope slams, okay? So you guys have some variety on that one, all right? That's our circuit. Then you're just going to repeat that for a total of four times, <clears throat> okay? Then our last uh, little core happy ending that we're going to do, okay? We have 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, times six. We're going to do uh, planks and side planks, okay? So you've got variations for your plank. You've got a regular plank. You've got a straight arm plank or you've got an extended plank, okay? It's for 40 seconds, one of those three variations for you. And then you take a 20 second rest, and then we do 40 seconds of a side plank. You can either do shoulder on top of the elbow. If you wanna, uh, if you can't stack your feet, make sure your top foot is in front, okay? So top foot is in front. I can either hold this position here, if I wanna make it more challenging, I can stack my feet, okay? If I wanna make it more challenging from there, I can come up onto the hand, Okay, stagger my feet, more challenging, stack my feet, or I can do this to make it even more challenging. Okay, <clears throat> so you have a couple variations for the side plank. So, 40 seconds of your traditional plank or straight arm or extended plank, 20 second rest, 40 seconds of whatever side plank you want on one side, 20 second rest, 40 seconds on the other side. We're going to do that for a total of six rounds, okay? That's a lot. Okay, so you should feel the core after that one. Okay, so once again, Chris from Commit to Be Fit, uh, thanks again, and keep your eyes on the YouTube channel. We appreciate all the views, by the way. We're over 1,000 views now. Um, so keep your eyes on there, because we're going to do a nice video of the new location uh, once we get it. We're going to do a before and an after video, just so you guys can see uh, what we got coming for you guys. All right, thanks again, and have a good one.